Hi guys, my life is Beth here. So, um, it, it's been almost one year since we got a fish called Arlo and he died in our house. If you're an old subscriber, you might remember. Because, like, I was going to wait to do this video until the uh, one year anniversary of his death, which was the 7th of May. But it's May Day today. We're just back from the same fair we got him, only we didn't get a goldfish this time. Obviously, because they die right away. But, um, yeah, just, I'm going to... Go into more detail about what actually caused Arlo's death because, well... A lot of people seem to think that it was somehow my fault for putting chlorine in the water so I'm assuming that these people just don't know maybe in their country it works differently but not only do I have to explain Arlo's death I now have to explain how the water system here works so at least in my country it's like this I'm assuming it's like this in like America and Canada and Australia and all too but I could be wrong on that, but in my country where I got this fish, this is how it works. Chlorine is added to drinking water as a purification technique, despite not being completely safe. Chlorine is a reactive chemical that bonds with that bonds with water, including the water in your gut, to produce poisonous hydrochloric acid. Chlorine exposure can cause respiratory problems and damage cells. But as humans since we're only drinking a tiny bit and our organs are way stronger, we can deal with it no problem. Fish, on the other hand, if you remember what size Arlo was, Arlo was like really small. And, you know, us, like it goes through our intestines, but for him it was like going into his lungs because he breathes through his gills. So the chlorine was getting into his lungs and hurting him. Oh, um, Arlo keeps sticking his mouth out of the water. It looks like he's trying to get air, but we only just changed his water like two days ago. Not even two days ago, we changed it yesterday. So why is he doing that so quickly? Because I've had fish before, and after 70, 10 days, they go up to the service for oxygen. But why is he doing it so soon? Like, there's something wrong with him? I did not put the chlorine in the water. The chlorine was already in our tap water, and we had to use tap water. There's nothing wrong with tap water for fish. Most people use tap water for the goldfish. This is where I went wrong. So if you're going to blame it on me, you can blame it on me now, but it's not really my fault, but I guess you could blame it on me at this point. So there is a chemical called... Hold on till I look it up. Um, okay, so it's called Aquasafe because that chemical, when you put it in the chlorine-filled water, gets rid of the chlorine because the chlorine's dangerous to the fish and makes it safe for the fish. But this was where I made the mistake. So, when we bought the fish and it came in water with that stuff in it and I said, we're going to need more of this because I knew there wasn't enough water in the bag. When we got home put it in the bowl, we were going to have to top it up with tap water, which would also top it up with chlorine, which would mean we would need more of that. And I said, well, do you have any of that to give? And he says, no, I don't have any of that. And I, I said, oh, well, that's okay. I think I had some of that at home. Because like I've been telling you, I've had so many fish since I was about three that I've been using it for. And even though I hadn't had a fish in about a year or two at that point, I still presumably would have had some in my house. So I went home. We put them in the water, um, in, in the tap water in the bag. And then, um, so we could get used to the temperature. I looked and realized I didn't have enough aqua safe like 
there was literally like it doesn't take that much it only takes a few drops i only had enough for like one drop so i assumed right well we just don't add too much tap water because as you see the bowl was never full or the tank was never full don't add too much tap water there's already aquasafe in the bag so the tap water will dilute it but we'll add that drip and hopefully it will be enough to keep him alive until we get more and we'll go down the town tomorrow and get more but it wasn't enough to keep him alive he needed more and we couldn't give him more until the next day and the next day he was too far gone and died at about seven at night but trust me you guys I mean you can blame it on me if you want for just taking it for granted that I had that stuff and not stopping on the way home to get it or whatnot. but I tried to save Arlo when I realized he was dying I remember the first thing I did was say we need to get more and I think I went up to my granny's because she lives far away and I remember I was crying because Arlo was falling on his side and I didn't want him to die and I knew that meant he was dying and then my dad took me down the town and I told my sister because see he was falling on his side but I poked him and then he flipped back over. He was still alive at this point, his heart was still beating and he would swim a bit then fall on his side again. And I told Cara to sit there and poke him every time he fell on his side. I'm not sure, maybe if she did it it would have saved him but probably not, he was dying anyway. But Cara was really sick and she just couldn't keep doing it and she ended up going away and just leaving Arlo on his side. So there you go, you can blame it on her too if you want but you know. And then come home, he's still on his side. And I just know, I just knew, it's hard to describe, but I just knew he was dead. We put the aquafresh in, plenty of it, and we tried fish CPR, where you just like, it's not like regular CPR, you like, just grab them, pull them around the tank, because we thought he was still alive, but no, we gave him plenty of time. I sat in a room with a dead fish, just wondering, you know, is he really dead or whatnot. But we knew he was dead and after a while at about half eight or something we took him outside and buried him made him that headstone and i remember i kept saying no i don't think he's dead i don't think he's dead and um my mom poking at him and just nothing because he'd his, his lungs had just failed like he'd suffocated because there wasn't enough aqua fresh in the water and the chlorine had got in and damaged them and that's how we lost him and that's why we didn't get another one this year because we still don't have Aquafresh. Aquafresh. Aquasafe. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that gives people a better understanding of how he died. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.